I had some upgrades done to my boat. I had my trolling motor went out. Surprisingly, everything I put it through. Anyway, I bought a bigger one. I bought like the 105 pound thrust, whatever it is, motor guide XI. But the where it mounts to on my boat, I, I don't think it was originally designed for a trolling motor because this boat's a tank. But up here is this really thin sheet metal on this piece. And it was only about that wide. So I took it to Casey Hayes. He does boat fabrication and he made it bigger. He fixed the broken one and then plus welded like, I think it's like a quarter inch thick aluminum plate over the top of it and then painted it all and it just looks gorgeous. But this is just rock solid. Because before it was so small, my trolling motor actually had to stick out further than it was supposed to because I didn't have enough to mount it to. And then come over here and I'll show you a couple other things he did. Hopefully you can see it in the dark. But this this is original on the boat and he cut it off and welded it back on there so when you you can run your rope out straight out the front of the boat and then also another thing i like there's this cleat it actually used to be in the center and i would run it underneath my trolling motor to hit that thing up front but he moved the cleat over here and it works just great i can still run my rope there and then my anchor rope will be straight off the front of the boat and then he mounted the trolling motor the wiring harness and the light With my, with my batteries, I had to go to a 36 volt system because of the 105 pound thrust or whatever it is. Motor guide. And Casey built me a box to put my batteries in and mounted them real nice up front. And this boat wasn't originally designed for batteries up here. And then I was worried about the weight, so I went with the lithium ion batteries which has got to be a whole different video. I was really impressed with the battery. Was not impressed at all with the company that I bought them from. And I'm trying to get that cleared up right now. Um, but I bumped the Missouri River today for probably four hours, all straight on my trolling motor. And then I spot locked for about an hour in the current and at the end of the day, these batteries were just as fresh as when I started. But anyway, Casey's got it mounted real nice in there, and I'm really pleased with that. And then it's lighter than the two batteries that I had with my 24-volt system. Okay, my boat has a weather enclosure. And that's the mount, front mounting point there where you had to mount it and then you pop it up from here but what I hated about it was whenever you weren't using it if you set it down it's right here hell it takes up like this much of my boat I can't use because this is in the way and then when you're driving down the highway it's shaking so what Casey came up with he put sliding tracks on there right here where this will slide back and then I can set it on these shelves that he built. These aluminum shelves, I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe you can see that one over there. And then he mounted a couple of Driftmaster rod holders on it. And then it holds it rock solid. When I was driving down the highway today and I looked back on my mirror, it just sat there just perfect on these shelves. When before it would move so much, I wouldn't even haul it that way. It would scare me. On the charger, I got a three bank 10 amp charger. It was the company that sold the batteries. I was supposed to get one with my battery kit. I had to end up buying it on Amazon, but Casey mounted it under the dash right here. And then I just plug it in when I get home from the port I got dangling from the ceiling. 